Finally, my 11 years old Inca tripod broke and gave up on me the other day. Like all aged plastic, the joint is so brittle it broke into a few parts. I tried to come up with an improvised way of reusing the tripod, but this long gooseneck arm is vibrating too much. I have to wait for it to stop shaking before I can start recording. So I thought to myself, it's time for me to get a new tripod. I went on to Amazon to hunt for the tripod that fits my needs and doesn't break my bank account. I found this wonderful Niwa 56 inch aluminum tripod that comes with a 3 way swivel pan head, which is perfect for my product review panning videos. So I bought it using my own money. By the way, this video is not sponsored and all opinions are entirely my own. Let's take a look at this tripod now. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. There are quite a number of good review videos on this newer SAB234 tripod. So in this video, I'll try to cover the topics that are not covered by other videos. Like how well this swivel head pans while recording video. And also show you some close-up shots of this tripod. Just to let everyone know, Niwa has made two very similar models of this tripod. So do take note that the one I'm showing you is the 56 inch tripod that does not come with a monopod. The other similar model is 17 inches tall and a bit more expensive because the center shaft can be pulled out to convert into a monopod. I don't need a monopod, so I went with the cheaper and lighter 56 inch model. Both these models have the same three-way swivel pan head, which is the main key feature of these tripods. The three-way swivel pan head is pretty good given its price. Of course, we can't expect it to be ultra smooth like professional camera sliders. I notice the pan head is made very tight, which I think is a good thing. It gives us tighter control over the panning. However, because of this, the beginning and end of the panning always add some unwanted jerks into the video. Notice at the beginning of the panning, I had to tighten my grip to pick up the slack where the initial turn is not moving the camera. And then I had to hold and pause at the end of the panning too. Not a big deal and I have got used to it pretty quickly. The good news is, after I edit away the shaky beginning and end of the footage, I can achieve quite a good panning shot. Have a look at these shots produced by this tripod. Unlike my old Inca tripod, where it is connected from only one side, this newer tripod is very stable across the horizontal axis. Let me show you all the movement that this tripod head can do. Feel free to use the timestamps in the description down below to skip ahead or just watch along. I'll be showing you how fast I can collapse and set up these tripod legs after this demonstration of the three-way swivel head.
This retractable handle is quite a unique design too. I'm surprised how much I use it to pick up the tripod, especially when I'm setting up and collapsing the tripod. Not many tripods comes with this retractable handle. Okay, up next, I'm going to show you how fast I can collapse and set up this tripod. With the extension of the legs, I really like this quick release buckle as compared to those screw tighten legs on other tripods. We have 9 joints to handle, that's why I appreciate these quick release buckles. These buckles allow us to pull open and close a couple of them or even 3 of them all at the same time. Now once again, look at how convenient the handle is. Okay, now let's see how fast I can set this up again. That took me about 20 to 25 seconds. Anyway, moving on. The joints and linkages of the tripod are made of plastics with metal pins. It's pretty well designed and the movement is very smooth and easy to fold and unfold. There is also a hook at the center pillar for us to hang a bag or some weight to help keep the tripod stable in outdoor windy conditions. The hook is not spring-loaded or anything, it's just there for us to use it whenever we are ready. Now while we are on the topic of keeping the tripod stable, the legs have these nice rubber studs that are connected via a ball joint for us to find the most optimal stable angle. The angle in which the rubber studs can tilt is approximately 20 to 30 degrees, which in my usage is more than enough. And before I forget, there is also this tiny bubble leveler tool, built in for us to find the balanced horizon in our camera's footage. It's all these small little additions that makes this budget tripod so worth it. I'm pretty happy I found this newer 56 inch SAB234 tripod. By the way, it comes with different colors too. I kind of regretted I didn't get the blue one. The blue one looks really nice. And finally, this is the unboxing clip. Feel free to continue to watch the unboxing while I tell you more about my channel. For those of you who have followed me long enough, you would know that I always leave the promotion of my channel at the end of the video, so you can get the main content fast. If this is the first time you are on the channel, a big welcome to you. On my Sky Perspective channel, I share stories of the tech gear I buy for myself and how I use technology like my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 phone and my Tab S6 tablet to improve my workflow and productivity. Hopefully you find this newer tripod video useful for your purchase decisions. And don't forget to like this video. Your small gesture of liking this video can actually help my channel a lot. Thanks for